This is the first time that we are embarking on the driving trip in a new energy vehicle. Our journey started from Datong, we passed through Shuzhou City, and finally arrived at Taiyuan, the capital of Shanxi Province, a distance of nearly 400 kilometers. I'm extremely happy to have the opportunity to drive a new energy vehicle and experience a fully electric trip. This is my first experience with new energy vehicles for long distance travel. After about 40 minutes, we arrived at Yungang Grottoes in Datong. Every year, tourists from all over the country come here, including many new energy vehicle drivers, and we wanted to find out how the charging infrastructure is in the region. Charging the EV is a lot like charging your phone. Time to start your charge by the app. Session details will appear on the screen. Charge up and your next destination awaits. It takes only about 40 minutes from the start of access to full charge, and the region can reach about 300 kilometers with one full charge. We drove here from Yuncheng, Shanxi. We were happy to find that there is a charging station inside a scenic spot so that we can go to the scenic spot while we park our car here to charge. Charging anxiety isn't just down to the location of charging stations, but to their reliability. We came to the city center to see if the charging process was convenient. Many tourists came here in electric cars, including tourists from Hainan province. I have been using a new energy car for more than a year and must say that the charging process is very convenient. Shanxi is one of the Chinese provinces that is switching to electric mobility in a big way to reduce harmful emissions. The main benefit is that the cost of using the car is very low almost equivalent to one-tenth of a fuel car. Three recharges were made during the trip, and over time, we're pretty sure we will realize that the reality is often far less scary than we expected it to be. I found out during this trip that range anxiety can be completely eliminated. It has further reinforced my idea of switching to a new energy car. From my point of view, it's actually more convenient to charge an EV, especially in many scenic spots in highways, and there are several comprehensive charging facilities. Before the end of the trip, we met some EV owners who were camping and got their experiences of traveling in new energy vehicles. This mode of travel is becoming more and more diverse, and now travel is 4 plus 2 travel mode. If the car is charging, we will take a back ride around the neighborhood. The main benefit is that the cost of using the car is very low, almost equivalent to one-tenth of a fuel car. After 400 kilometers, we arrived at the recharging spot with 16% left on the battery. Gradually, our confidence grew. We never felt to reach anxiety again. In the past, electric cars were limited to short commutes. But with the growing availability of charging and switching facilities, it's becoming easier to take electric cars on longer trips.